in June, the construction of the Solomash Design and Technological Bureau passed the long-awaited milestone. The first utility network, namely the Household Sewage System, was connected. Earthworks of other utility lines were also in full swing. The heating mains have already approached the boundary of the site, and very little is left before the connection point. The high-voltage power supply to the building was prepared. The installation of the ground loop continued. Ahead is the work on the putting of the internet communications and all the low-voltage networks. A trench was dug and plugs were installed in order to provide the building with hot and cold water supply. Extensive landscaping, in particular preparing for asphalt paving, was underway. Excess soil and unnecessary materials were removed, and sand was brought in, spread and tamped down on the site. At the ramp rope, where all utilities were completed, geotextile was laid, bed filled with sand was performed, and a trench was dug to connect external lighting. The dismantling of the fence began in some areas. In June, a new stage of construction began – the installation of internal utility networks. In the administration and utility building on the second floor, the distribution of heating and electricity is completed. On the first and ground floors, it continues. Inside the administration and utility building, the installation of plasterboard and glass interior partitions was in full swing. Finishing work on the walls and stairs continued. On the mezzanine of the first floor, the railing was installed and the floor tiles were laid. The installation of the lifts has reached the final stage. Regular wet and dry cleaning was conducted in the building. Commissioning works on the startup of the production line of 100 sized induction motors were carried out. All Russian specialized magazine Energotech Expo, devoted to power engineering and electric engineering, published an article on Sovelmash. The audience of the magazine are managers and leading specialists of industrial enterprises, that is, potential customers of the company. The article tells about Slavanka technology, Sovelmash's innovative developments, and the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau in Moscow, and also about the features of the Design and Technological Bureau under construction and the services it will provide. The link to the publication is in the description below this video. On June the 11th, a multi-day solar race 2023 started in Kazakhstan. A tuk-tuk with a motor based on Slavanka took part in it. The motor was made by ASPP Weihai. The electric car was prepared for the race by the Production Corporation Resource. The pilot is the investor of the project, a member of the Thousand Club, Vladimir Popov. Participants in the race are about 10 cars, which are allowed to move only on solar power, without recharging from the mains. Among them, the tricycle based on Slavanka is the only one powered by an induction motor, and the tuk-tuk is the heaviest and biggest among the other cars. The main task of participating in the race is to test the tuk-tuk and the motor in real conditions. It is more than 2,700 km in different weather, high heat, strong headwinds, overcast skies. The pilot and the car had to overcome different kinds of difficulties every day, while the motor showed its reliability and worked without interruptions. We'll tell you about the results of the race in detail after the finish of the tuk-tuk. On June the 3rd, Solar Group Conference with participation of top managers was held in Quito, the capital of Ecuador. It was attended by over 200 people, a very high figure for Ecuador, where there are about 1,600 participants in the project. At the conference, top managers of the company Pavel Filipov and Pavel Shatsky told about the results which have been achieved in the project lately, about the progress of construction of the Sovelmash Engineering Center and the volume of investments attracted. They also told about the company's plans. The Ecuadorians saw an electric motor based on Slavanka, which was demonstrated by Andrei Lobov, director of production cooperation resource. Solar Group national partner in Ecuador and Peru, Massimiliano Vivian Rossini, and leading partner Marta Crespin Calderon also spoke to the audience. During the Solar Group delegation's visit to Ecuador, in addition to the conference, several equally interesting events took place. A meeting presentation for major investors, a training session for partners, Andrei Lobov's speech to professors and students of the largest university in the country, test of the boat motor from the production cooperation resource, agreement to install a motor based on Slavanka on an electric car designed by the students. This project is a contender for a government grant. The analytics section for partners has been improved in the Solar Group back office. Here you can get detailed statistics about the affiliate activity. This information will help partners to understand and improve their work efficiency, enhance the project financing. 
funds transfer in the back office has become more convenient and up-to-date. The functionality itself has not changed. As before, you can transfer funds between your accounts or to another user. Funds are transferred in the wallet section, as well as on the main page of the back office. In June, the project launched three new promotions for investors – the Friendly Bonus, Starter Bonus and Minus One Stage for Children's Packages. They were launched to support the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau Sovelmash. You can find all the details in the Promotion section in your back office. The link is in the description. Promotions are valid until July 31st, inclusive. You still have time to take advantage of them.